Hi all, welcome back to Crazy to Forever. And in the previous video, we travelled from Hoi An and we have reached Hue by bus. And we'll be exploring Hue for two days. We just got down the bus and now we are walking towards the hotel. It's quite sunny here. We walked till our hotel, and as I mentioned earlier, by walking you can explore better. Also, because it was nearby. I have a detailed video on where to stay in Vietnam, which you can refer for your easy travel and bookings. Then we hired a bike for traveling around as Hue is a larger place and this is something I did because I was too happy. The first place we went is to the mausoleum of Emperor Tuk Duk. Hue is known for mausoleums and tombs and it's an imperial city basically. It's a very big place. Bahut hi bada hai and chalte jao chalte jao. But the ticket price is very costly. It's around 150 dong, correct? 150, the high 150,000. Yeah, 150,000 I mean that. Uh for one person. Itna ticket ka price we have not given in any other place. Okay, let's see. Let's keep seeing. It's actually a tomb or tomb um of the emperor. A lot of small temples. If you want you can also take the audio tour. And Chotus had come here Hello. as part of their school excursion. Hi. This place has a big pond and you can see how much Hue's people are fond of fishes. They even pray fish and believe feeding them brings goodness in family. Hello. Bye. Bye. Hello. 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 Walking back to exit again many of these cuties. Hi. Then we drove towards the imperial city which is a walled enclosure within the citadel of the city of Hue. It mostly served as ceremonial function during the French colonial period. It contains the palaces that housed the imperial family as well as shrines, gardens and villas for mandarins. After the end of monarchy, it suffered heavy damage and neglect during the Indochina wars, but the imperial city was designated as the UNESCO World Heritage Site. We drove towards the An Din Palace via the beautiful perfume river and if you have time do go for a boat excursion here. An Din Palaces became the palace where royal families received foreign delegations. At the palace the traditional architecture of the Nguyen dynasty still remains. Gothic architecture is also clearly shown through decoration styles and items such as pillars, archways etc. the palace and din palace and it it's kind of okay so they have these um, old uh, court old uh, mirrors of uh, the dressing table the cabinets and stuffs like that and they have the story of the uh, king here and then we went to the most famous vegan resto where we tried some amazing things detailed video on vegan restaurants are also available in our playlist then we drove back again through a beautifully decorated bridge towards the night market where i got my nails done dude if you are in vietnam and haven't tried the viet nail art you have done nothing viet nails are known all over the world and yes you can bargain too hue is the cheapest place in the whole of vietnam so you can get your fancy nails just for 1000 rupees this is the first time in my life when i tried nail art and thanks to ashutosh for pushing me for this very pretty and it will soon be there on instagram and she did the nails <laughs> then we went to dine here at our favorite place i have a detailed video on this too in the vegan restaurant video you got it Yeah. <laughs> and next day we went to the Dong Bar and the Tohin Tan Market. Hue is the best place for shopping and the cheapest one in Vietnam, which is a hub for so many fashion things, fashion wear, food, shoes and what not. This place has like two floors and it's a huge market. We got some jackets, tops at amazing bargain prices. 
Early morning, we left for Danang by train, and trust me, you should do this journey. We are on the station, so the station is closed now, and we have to wait in the waiting room. When the train comes, they will open it, and then we will go inside. So uh, she checked for our tickets, and we are inside. We are just waiting for the train. Patri is not showing. Patri is showing. This is the whole platform. It's like I can walk on the platform. I don't know why in India we don't have such platforms. It's so safe. At least people won't fall and die. And also people are allowed inside only 5 minutes before the train arrives and those who have ticket. It's a cheap way to travel and book your tickets directly from the station or you can book in the market shops also but they will cost you a little bit more. I have a detailed video about this too as to the modes of traveling in Vietnam and look at the view. It is one of the most recommended journeys in the world. Not very famous yet, but please do it if you are in Hue. The train goes parallel to the sea, the dense forest, and it's just breathtaking. I just didn't know what to edit and what to leave, so I just put everything in this video, just scamming you guys with that. <laughs> We met some really good and kind people and we were actually translating to communicate. We are trying to communicate and it's very nice, they are very nice. They offered us uh, bread. When we were eating fruits, <laughs> they thought that we don't, uh, didn't get anything in here. So, we are sitting in front of us, we are very loved, we are very good. And then we reached Da Nang by 9 o'clock and stay tuned guys for Bana Hills in Da Nang and also for some cool itineraries for your next travel.